हाय फ्रेंड्स आई एम इन बी लांडगे एंड अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस आवर सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड एज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मशीन डिजाइन हुज सब्जेक्ट कोड इज डबल टू फाइव सिक्स फोर सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो वे आर इन यूनिट सिलेक्शन ऑफ एंटी फ्रिक्शन बेरिंग्स एंड गियर्स सो गाइज इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस how to select proper bearing for any particular application as per catalog as per manufacturing catalog so friends today we are going to discuss on a gear so friends in front of us 2d and 3d diagram is there and as you know it is a gear so what is my gear so simply you can say that gear it is a power transmission device means gear transmit the power transmit the motion from one component to the other component of a mechanical system what is the purpose of gear transmit the motion between different machine components of a mechanical system so friends there are different types of gears are there spur gear helical gear bwl gear worm and worm wheel so likewise different gears are there and according to the applications different gears are used so friends in front of us gear is visible and it is called as of course called as spur gear what am i spur gear so correct spur gear it is a such gear whose teeth are exactly parallel to each other or straight teeth are there so how you can define the spur gear spur gear it is a simplest form of a gear in which teeth are exactly straight and those teeth are mounted on the outer periphery of a we can say that cylinder disc so always keep in mind in spur gear straight teeth are there to each other means there is no any particular angle in between the teeth straight teeth are there and in 2d and in 3d both diagrams are in front of us in which we can easily check that teeth are exactly parallel to each other so friends this is a gear nomenclature we can say that related to the spur gear so friends this gear nomenclature we have already discussed in eme means engineering metrology so in engineering metrology we have discussed different gear parameters of a spur gear and those gear parameters we have checked with help of gear tooth vernier and other instrument also so friends any tooth of a gear consist of these different parameters so in which face width top land the tooth thickness is also important parameter space width is there space width means space between the two teeth then pitch circle face of the teeth flank then bottom land clearance circle dedendum circle addendum circle 
फिलेट रेडियस क्लियरेंस एडेंडम डिडेंडम पीच पीच सर्कल डायमीटर सो दीज आर द डिफरंट पैरामीटर्स आर दे रिलेटेड टू द गियर टूथ एंड ऑल दीज पैरामीटर्स आर इम्पॉर्टंट एंड हाउ टू डिफाइन दिस पैरामीटर हाउ कैन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यूज दैट पार्ट ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस सो फ्रेंड्स After that, we have to discuss Lewis equation for strength of gear tooth. Means how we can calculate the strength of gear tooth by using Lewis equation. So, friends, in front of us, figure A and B is there. Figure A indicates the cantilever beam. type gear profile is there correct in figure b different types of load are acted on the tooth and different gear parameters are there so if we check figure number b in which small t is there so what is by small t small t means tooth thickness small h is there small h means height of the teeth then tooth profile is there we know involute shape tooth profile tangent is there we can simply say that tangent to the base circle then friends there are three forces are there one is wn w stands for load so wn n for normal wn w for load na huh? n for normal wn means normal load is acted at point a so wn means normal load it is split, split into the two loads wr r for radial so wr means radial load wt wt means tangential load means wn means normal load it is splitted into two loads radial load and tangential load now friends for lewis equation to calculate strength of the gear tooth different parameters are required in which first we are going to calculate bending stress so in some we have discussed what is by bending stress so bending stress you know, it is denoted by sigma b sigma for stress b for bending so sigma b is equal to m into small y upon i where what is by m so as you know sigma b means bending stress what is capital m maximum bending moment of critical section b c what is by m maximum bending moment of critical section b c see here section b c is there so m is equal m is calculated by using formula m is equal to wt into h so as we know wt means tangential load and small h means length of a tooth correct if we put this two value we get a capital m then y small y what is small y small y is nothing but half of the thickness of the tooth so here we can see here t small t means tooth thickness if we do the t by 2 we get a y so put y here then what is i 
I means moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. To calculate moment of inertia and put here, and after putting value, we get a sigma p. That is bending stress. Then, friends, see here. Permissible working stress or bending stress means sigma b. For Lewis equation, also we can calculate by using such relation also. So, friends, here permissible working stress or bending stress means sigma b in Lewis equation depend on material for which allowable static stress. May be determined. Me sigma zero. What is my sigma zero? Or sigma o? Allowable static stress. So what is allowable static stress? It is a stress at the elastic limit of a material. Means at elastic limit of a material. If we calculate stress. It is called as allowable static stress, or it is also called as basic stress. So, as per Barth formula, we can calculate permissible or bending stress as follows. So, see here, sigma b is equal to sigma o into C v, where sigma b means bending stress. Sigma O means allowable static stress or basic stress, and C V means velocity factor. So where C V means velocity factor, see here how we can calculate. So C V is equal to three upon three plus V. It is this formula is applicable for ordinary gear operating at a velocity up to 12.5 meter per second. So, if our speed is rotating up to the velocity 12.5 meter per second, then use formula of C V. This C V is equal to 3 upon 3 plus V. Then after that, friends. Cv is equal to 4.5 upon 4.5 plus v. This formula we have used when velocity of gear is more than 12.5 meter per second. After that, friends, Cv is equal to 6 upon 6 plus v, where v means velocity. If it will be up to the 20 meter per second, then we have to use this relation. Means CV, it is depend on the velocity of a gear tooth. After that, friends, after bending stress, next parameter you have to calculate that is power transmission capacity of spur gear in bending means in bending power transmission capacity we have to calculate so the design tangential tooth means as you know wt and power transmitted p and the pitch line velocity is given by the equation so simply you can say that power transmission capacity of a spur gear in bending, we can calculate it by using following relation. Power transmission capacity of spur gear in bending, we can calculate by using following relation. So, in which, see here, WT is equal to P upon V into Cs. What is the relation to calculate power transmission? WT is equal to P upon V into Cs. So, our target is that to calculate P. What is by P? P means power transmitted in Watt. After that, 
वट इज डब्ल्यू टी आपको टेंजेंशियल लोड और डब्ल्यू टी मीन्स परमिशियल टेंजेंशियल टूथ लोड इन न्यूटन सो फॉर्मुला इज देर टू कैलकुलेट डब्ल्यू टी सो डब्ल्यू टी इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा बी इंटू बी इंटू पाय इंटू स्मॉल एम इंटू द वाय इट इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा ओ इंटू सी वी ब्रैकेट कंप्लीट बी इंटू पाय इंटू एम इंटू स्मॉल वाय बाय दिस रिलेशन वी कैन कैलकुलेट डब्ल्यू टी बाय पुटिंग दिस वैल्यूज आफ्टर दैट वॉट इज वी पीच लाइन वेलोसिटी वी मीन्स वेलोसिटी सो वी पीच लाइन वेलोसिटी इन मीटर पर सेकंड सो फॉर्मुला इज देयर पाय डी एन बाय सिक्सटी यू बी पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ पाय डी एंड एन वी गेट वी आफ्टर दैट फ्रेंड सी एस इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वॉट इज सी एस सर्विस फैक्टर सर्विस फैक्टर इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट वी हैव टू पुट देन डी डी मीन्स पिच सर्कल डायमीटर ऑफ अ गियर वी नो ना पिच सर्कल डायमीटर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड आफ्टर दैट सर्कुलर पिच पी सी पी सी इज इक्वल टू पाय डी अपॉन टी बट डी इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू टी सो वी पुट द वैल्यू वी गेट पिच सर्कल मीन्स पी सी P for pitch, C for circle is equal to pi into small m, where m is nothing but module in meters. T, capital T, means tooth of a, or number of tooth. We can say that. That's why modified relation of velocity is there. V is equal to. We know now V is equal to pi d n by sixty, na? so pi will be as it is replace d by mt into n upon 60 again we know pi m means pc so replace pi m by pc in circular pitch so pc into t into n by 60 upon 60 that is nothing but v so we get relation to calculate velocity is equal to pc into t into n upon 60 where n it is a speed in rpm t number of tooth pc circular pitch we see if we put this values we get a velocity and by using putting this value we can calculate the power transmission for spur gear so friends likewise in today's lecture we have discussed how to design spur gear with the help of levi's equation so friends to design or to calculate strength of a gear tooth by using levi's equation we required bending stress so bending stress means sigma b so by using this relation we can calculate that correct after that power transmission capacity for spur gear we can calculate by using this relation in which we have to put this certain different values and after putting this values we get the power transmission capacity of spur gear so likewise friends in today's lecture we have discussed what is my gear what is spur gear how we can calculate strength of the gear by using levi's equation with the help of different 
standard parameters so okay friends thank you thank you very much